Hi there, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. For us today, it was a drier day. We had a few straight little itty bitty thunder showers, but the bulk of the rain today from the Carolinas and points southwest. Because we were drier today, that allowed the heat and humidity to really settle in, and it's going to stay very hot, very humid, and oppressive as we head into the weekend. As a matter of fact, we've got areas in orange under a heat advisory from noon Saturday through 11 p.m. Sunday. This includes Lynchburg and Danville. However, we also have areas, say from Appomattox County south into Charlotte and Halifax counties under an excessive heat warning. Areas in orange, areas in red could feel anywhere from 105 to 110 as we head into the weekend. That's not going to be your air temperature. That's going to be your feel like temperature because you got to keep in mind it's going to be really hot and it's going to be very, very humid as well. Now, we're looking at temperatures on Saturday around 98, temperatures on Sunday 94. Saturday can't rule out a stray thunder shower, but there's a better chance for some isolated thunder showers as we head into Sunday. And if you do get a little wet on Sunday, consider yourself lucky because that's going to cool you down. Please make sure this weekend to take good care of yourself. Make sure to stay hydrated, wear that light, loose fitting clothing. Uh, the other thing I will say is take frequent breaks in the uh, air conditioning. I will also tell you uh, that uh, you're going to want to keep an eye on the elderly and bring those pets inside. This is going to be a uh, very dangerous weekend to be outside for an extended period of time because of the fact that the air temperatures and the humidity are going to be so high. Now, as we head into next week, we're going to cool down by Tuesday through Friday. Highs will only be in the low to mid 80s. Why? Because we're going to have a cold front swing through here later Monday into the first part of Tuesday. We're going to have a better chance for more scattered showers and thunderstorms later Monday, Monday night into at least the first half of Tuesday. Then we're going to dry things out as we head into Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and see more sunshine.